This is a click view presentation for section 8. All the data is coming from the SQL server. It is historical data collected from Tracker. You can recognize different fields like area and project, first and last, city and zip code, check run date, source and reporting period. We have created three boxes, the green one for average CTP, the blue one for average HAP and UAP, the yellow one for the total number of participants. Underneath the boxes, there is a chart that shows the total subsidy by category. In this page, all tables are white. That means that all the data is included in the calculations and all the data is included in the charts as well. If we select just home base, it will become green. All the data related to home base will become white. All the data not related to home base will turn gray. The chart and averages will reflect only the home base amounts on the fly. We can dig deeper and select only project number 4, rental assistance. The chart changes again and the total number of families and the averages will change too. If we move the mouse on top of each bar, it will show the exact amount Now that we have selected home base rental active tenants, I can go deeper and select a single reporting period for this group of participants. And what if we want to see not just the rental assistance, but all four home base projects combined together for the same reporting period? All we have to do is unselect project number four. And you'll see that all four projects will turn white. The chart changed as well. The number of participants changes and the averages change too. The same way we can select two, three or six reporting periods at a time, analyze the chart and see all the differences. In seconds we can report for the present month, for the previous month or for the entire fiscal year without having to rerun reports each month. Let's start a new search. With one click only we can unselect everything and start all over again selecting only one of the many Section 8 projects. This includes all the data from 1997 until today. If we want to see what subsidies this project has invested in the city of Florence, all we have to do is click on the city. The chart updates on the fly and now we have only six participants from Lawrence in this specific project. We can go deeper and select a single family, clicking on the first or on the last name. A single line will remain white, showing the tenant number, area, project name and the owner. You'll see the owner name on the further right. The chart and the averages will reflect now the payments made on behalf of this single tenant. A kind of visual interactive tenant ledger. Let's see if we have other tenants with the same owner. We can unselect the tenant and select the owner. Indeed, we have two tenants. What about the last three reporting periods? And with a click, you are going to see that now we can visualize how much money we have spent in subsidies in the last three reporting periods. This is a kind of a visual interactive owner ledger. If we want to see how much we have spent for this fiscal year across the board, including Section 8, Home Base and Raft, all we have to do is select the last months. The chart and the totals will update on the fly. As you know, we cannot report for combined 
projects within Tracker? What about a city or a group of cities? We can just click on the data and the numbers are there, the total, the average, and everything that we need. The name of the participants that belong to those cities and the projects that we have selected are going to show in white and everything else is going to be gray. This dashboard is much more than just a reporting tool. We can use it to locate errors and typos. I noticed that one reporting period was out of range. When I clicked on it, it showed a single record only. It is impossible to have only one payment for one reporting period. The tenant number helped me locate the tenant and fix the error in Tracker. We can build different kinds of charts and tables per screen. We can also build more than one screen and navigate from one screen to another clicking on the tabs on top of the screen. Ideally, we can build one screen for each CMAP category and have many charts and indicators specific to each category. Some with calendar views and some with traffic lights or Excel charts. Let's try another exercise. Let's say that I want to see all FAP projects combined together. We select all the FAP projects and now you are going to see the subsidy that we have spent in these projects, how many participants were there, in what cities, the average hub and the average TTP. We can also change the look of the chart from a bar chart to a pie chart, from a table to an Excel spreadsheet. We can export directly to Excel with one click only. This was a very short presentation on how to empower the Section 8 managers with a dashboard that will reduce the amount of time that they are using to run reports. This dashboard can also be used from executives or from DHCD to run analysis based on income levels, different areas, different cities, combined projects, and research without asking the managers to rerun the reports all over again anytime that they want to include another area or exclude a project. Thank you for your attention.